I've been shoveling lamprite ore into this uh, diamond recovery plant for about an hour now, and it's time to uh, clean it out. So there are four of these trays in there. They're about one foot square to catch the heading. As the trommel turns, the smaller gravel falls down in here and goes across first this one and then this one jigging all the way and the larger rocks go in here and then the largest rocks go out that way. But uh, this is not full of heavies yet but the heavies are on the bottom but you still have to stop and clean it out about every hour because mud builds up in the bottom here and there's valves, there's four vats and there's a valve at the bottom of each vat. I can open it and drain it, get the water and mud out. First we had trouble with some filling with sand and mud and packing in there so tight with the jig packing that sand in there that it wouldn't drain. So I stuck rubber hoses in there to kind of open a path and that way if it ever floods, you'll at least have that much of an opening to start draining it and then it will eventually wash down. Everything comes down here and hits this tray and this material is jigging up and down. So the heavies work their way down in and the lighter material stays on top and then the lighter material goes to the next batch and enters and it does the same thing. If the first tray doesn't catch all the heavies, all the diamonds, then you've got another chance before they go on off the waterfall and out. What I'll do now, dump those two like-sized trays together and I'll take it over to another jig and I'll jig it and it'll concentrate the heavies together and uh, then I can take and flip that over and have a real clean, like, Saruka pile to uh, check through, check my heavies. set of valves over here and it looks complicated but it's really pretty simple how this works. I'll bring the camera over and show you but one inch and a quarter com pipe comes in and feeds all of this manifold with all these valves. One of the valves, this first one on the left here, feeds the spray bar to the scrubber trommel and the next one is just, I don't have this open when I'm running it, only when I clean it. When I want to wash that out, I'll open that valve and flush this out. Get all this mud and sand out the bottom here. These sides aren't too bad. But anyway, there's a, a valve for each one of them. There's also a valve for a garden hose for cleaning up. So when it's operating, when it's running, I only have this one pipe going and so an inch and a quarter pump from the pond supplies water to the spray bar up the middle and that's the only water we've got and all that water comes through here and um, washes the mud out and 
jigs it and all the light material washes down here into the settling pond.